watching first tonight on 5 at 6.30. Paint and uh, profanity, that's what one neighborhood woke up to this morning in Baldwin County. It happened in the Sweet Gum Village area off of County Road 55 near Foley, and politics may have had a role in this vandalism. News 5's Debbie Williams has more now on the Baldwin County beat. Yeah, the heavy stuff's coming off. But this is what I'm concerned with. Can you get yeah. this off? Dan Teal's Chevy is a mess. Bunch of haters out there. Overnight it was spray painted. <laughs> the dirty words have already been removed, but the word Trump believed to be part of the motivation for the vandalism. About eight houses got to get left. Oh, no. really? Earlier in the evening, Till had returned from delivering relief supplies to fire victims in Gatlinburg. So and this wasn't exactly the welcome home he had hoped for. Did that take away the hide? Not a bit. No. You, 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 you can't destroy God's love. You can, you can try to poke it a little bit, but that's all it is. More than half a dozen cars, at least three houses, all spray painted overnight. And we'd love to show you some of the other graffiti that was left, but it's just too vulgar. It don't make no sense. It just goes to show you who's who and what's what. Within a few minutes of steady work, the majority of what the vandals left behind had been erased. You had a photograph of Trump on there, and it's gone, so... I just finished detailing the rest of it out and make it look brand new again. It's just job security. Oh, that's there good. good. Yep, they can yeah. see the numbers and they can yeah. see them legal. Regardless of what they were trying to accomplish, what message they were trying to send, Teal says they failed. They didn't hurt my wife. They didn't hurt me. And they just gave us an inconvenience. On the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, News 5. In Pensacola, the search continues for... A person behind an early morning robbery. It happened at a gas